given today's, you know, political climate and then awareness of racism and the injustices, why was it important to put a movie out like this today? Well, I think that there's so much we to, there's so much that we forget. We forget how we got here in terms of kind of the turbulent um, climate in the country right now, and it's important to be reminded of, of um, how we got here. You know what I mean? And uh, it, this complicated history of this country. It's very complicated. It, this is a beautiful country, but it has a very painful past, and um, and an important past. And it's good to remember, but it's good for us to remember our heroes and our heroines, right? I mean, that's really what it's about. We have to remember what people were able to accomplish because I think that right now young people can get kind of um, overwhelmed and uh, it's almost like you want to bury your head in the sand because the news is so uh, oppressive. But it's important to remember what singular people were able to accomplish in turbulent times. There are a lot of parallels to the story. Um, I think the idea of separation of family is incredibly relevant um, during the period of slavery. Um, that was one of the things that um, forced Harriet to escape in the first place. Um, her, her sisters had been sold down south. Her family never heard from them again. Um, and that concept, I mean, sadly enough, that resonates with what's going on right now. Um, and but I think the most important thing about Harriet is that one woman was able to make such a huge change and such an impact and the concept that um, one person can um, fight for what's right and make real change in the world is something that I thought we felt was important to get out um, in this day and age where I think a lot of us feel a little bit dejected about what's going on politically. Um, so I think that was one of the inspirations for us and why we felt like we needed to tell the story right now. There's so much documentation, there's so many historical facts. What's that one thing that was so important that you needed to include in this film? Well, it's really the, the idea that she was doing this as a young woman, you know? I wanted to speak to young women, you know? Um, I think our image of Harriet often is like the old woman in the chair, and I really wanted to just say, no, this is a woman that was in her 20s, you know, when she was doing a lot of this work, her 20s and early 30s. And so um, just remind young people and young women what has been accomplished and what can be accomplished by, you know, young women and young women of color. One of the most interesting things, and not to spoil the movie too much, but um, after um, Harriet did her incredible work in the Underground Railroad and one, was one of the premier conductors on the railroad, um, she became a spy for the Union Army, and she was one of the only women to lead a brigade in American history. And so I don't think many people know that. That's its own story in its own right. Um, and so she was just someone who was constantly fighting to correct the wrongs of, you know, our country. And I, I, she is, she's my inspiration. She really has. The more I learn about her, the more I'm inspired by her. And speaking of women of color, women empowerment, can you describe like being the director, having this at your helm? Well, uh, Harriet is produced by two women. One of them uh, is a black woman, and um, written by two African Americans. One of whom is a woman. One of whom is me. So, women at the helm, and uh, people of color at the helm. And then, of course, I'm the director, and uh, about a black woman, and starring this phenomenal uh, actress. That we have a black production designer, black costume designer, black composer, and uh, you know, it, it's it's a really power hair and makeup, of course, but a really powerful group of people. And then, of course, a rainbow coalition of people that came together to make this movie. And so we, um, it's a very, it's a female-driven film. So female, there, there are women at the top of this film and guiding this film, and I'm super proud of that. And, and it's also a very colorful film. You know, uh, uh, people of color in positions of, of, of power, and, and um, it, the, the art of the film is actually made by women and people of color uh, working with a whole lot of other people to bring this vision. So uh, we're really excited about that. Well, it's funny. You know, I've been producing films a long time. My partner is this incredibly badass uh, producer, Deborah Martin Chase. You know, she she was a pioneer in her own right. She um, produced Pi um, Sisterhood, of, uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and um, the Princess Diaries. And she was a real inspiration to me every day. And I think, like, the two of us, once we paired up with Casey and Cynthia, we sort of felt like a little bit unstoppable. Like we, we were daring people to say no to us. <laughs> um, and I think um, there was a real spirit of sisterhood on set. We were always looking out for each other. Um, and I think that 
it was a new experience for a lot of people to have a completely female run production. Um, that was a unique experience. It's funny, Leslie Odom Jr. talks about that often, how it was a unique thing to have women be his boss. And um, and I think that's great. I think we just need to continue to, to push boundaries that way and, and be our own bosses.